Lieutenant Colonel Edgar Mobbs, Captain of England, Northampton and Bedford Blues, more than 260 appearances to his name, before leading his sporting battalion over the top at Picken Ridge, the Passchendaele salient, on July the 31st, 1917, at the age of 35. His body was never found. Commemorated and remembered here, along with 14 other Northampton players, killed in action in the Great War. Really burden from the soldiers perspective to understand what the Mobs and War game is all about and this week I made a real conscious effort that um, we got a couple of the, the younger newer members of the squad to come in and, and they've done a presentation on Edgar Mobs and, and what he achieved not only in his sporting career but his military career as well and, and it's a really good insightful um, presentation and, and the whole squad now understands what this game is all about. The Navy had trained with the Saints' first 15 earlier in the week, thanks to their Northampton star, Sam Matavesi, and his brother, Joel, was in the Northampton side as the Army fought a rearguard action in the first half to keep the home team out. Tequili Neravoro helped himself to two of their five first-half tries. Saints captain James Grayson also bagging two tries and accurate with the boot as the Army were rarely allowed out of their own half. There was also a blow for the Army with their inspirational centre, John Devatanavalu, picking up what looked like a nasty knee injury and forced off before half-time. The race will be on to get him fit for Twickenham. The Army trailing 31-0 at half-time, thanks to Grayson's second try. After the break, the Army were able to put together a rare phase of forward play, and it yielded a try for Shane Nialo. The conversion also successful for Matt Smart to make it 31-7. But the home side hammered home their advantage. James Fish with the first of his two pushover tries. Aaron Hinckley also scoring and this beautifully taken score from Jake Garside. Northampton winning the match 59-7 but Army coach Mal Roberts proud of his team. Proud of what we've achieved this evening is, you know, we come here and the pleasing thing for me was is that pride and passion in the red jersey and, and the never giving up attitude. And I said in the circle there, you know, it, it relates back to our day jobs, soldiering. Um, you know, and I said to him, Edgar Mobbs never gave up when he was in the trenches. So that's exactly what we wanted to do this evening. We wanted to come out and put pride in the jersey and we've done that. It's always a great fixture, this one. It's, you know, it's a great, it's a great stadium to come and play in. It's, as you say, a great team they put out. And, and on top of that as well, the, the sort of underlying theme of this game with Edgar Mobbs is, is, is huge for us. So, yeah, it was a, a, a big night. And I think, um, you know, despite the scoreline, uh, there's certainly a lot we can take away from that. It's huge for some of our players to, to play against some of, the, some of the stars that are out in the field tonight. It's, it's huge. And as I say, we'll take a lot of confidence from that as well going into the next uh, fixture. The Mobs Memorial match is about respect on and off the pitch, and we've certainly seen that in this game. Now the attention, of course, turns to Twickenham, the Army versus Navy in just under a fortnight. John Nyson, Forces News, Northampton.